Alright, so Madden 10 gameplay. We start off with the whole special teams line getting pancaked. How does that make sense? But, you know, they're about that. So I'm actually doing the commentary for the video, which is uh, surprising. I usually don't do it because my microphone kind of fucking sucks. It picks up background sounds every, like, in between pauses of talking. So, if I stop, you could hear the wind blowing past three feet away from me, which doesn't make sense. Alright, I remember this play because the tailback destroyed the whole defense. Look at this. I stopped him. Two people ran him over. How did, like... Come on. Yeah, uh, I think the commentator says it himself. How how is that possible? Man, come on. Alright, so in the first quarter, I believe we left uh, left it at seven seven. And I got pissed off after that play, so I tried to return for a touchdown, which I've only done one time. And when I did, I was hype. All right, so forget this. Let's talk about some stories. What should I talk about? I want to talk about the story of. Hmm, the first girl I ever liked. Well, so here's how it goes. You know, in fifth grade. You start, I was about mm, around 11 or so, and that's when I liked this one girl. I've only liked a few amount of girls, like, I'm about 17 now, and I'll say I liked about 11 girls. And her name, believe it or not, wait no, my name, believe it or not. Is Michael Jackson. Yep, Michael Jackson. And you can imagine how child your childhood would be. Pretty bad, pretty bad. For me, uh, for me it was mostly like pedo, pedophile, because this was the time when Michael Jackson was getting accused of touching a little boy, so. Every freaking day, I was confused. I mean, not confused. I was getting called a rapist. And you don't know how freaking annoying that gets. <laughs> you're 11 years old and you're being called a rapist. What? How does that make sense? So. Oh man. So, back to the girl. So. Her name was Kiana, which, now that you think about it, sounds like a fat girl's name. It's like Keith. Ew. But, back in fifth grade, she had the most, I did, I like, I just liked her. And I was in I'm the most hygienic person in school, but I did my thing. I smelled musty, so I mean, like I've just got control of that must end. I've done my thing, little bit, man. Fuck. So talking to her, and you know how the girl theory works. They hang with a bunch of girls, and their the girls' thoughts that hang around with them affects the way they think. So, in common, you hardly want to talk to a girl when she's in a group of girls, because she'll say something she doesn't really feel. So, I worked on it for like about a couple months, you know, high school, I mean, not, not middle school, I mean, wait, public school, yeah, public school. 
I did my public school thing, about 5'2", you know, little old Mike. Just talking to her, you know, I said I liked her. What cheesy thing did I say? This is the ninth play of this drive. I said I liked something about her. Something, something cheesy. I, f I forgot, but I remember her face. She moved to Pennsylvania, and when she came back, she said she liked me. And she came back for like a day, the final day of school, before everybody went to public school. I mean, middle school. Middle school. And I scored a touchdown right there. Wes Welker, you don't know. But she came back, and I was like, whatever, man. Everybody's going to middle school, who cares? And she, that's one of the 11 girls I've liked. Like, I've seen a lot of girls with fat asses. Considering I live in Brooklyn, you, you see a whole lot of girls with a lot of fat asses. I mean, I don't know about other states, but I've seen white girls with fat asses in here, in Brooklyn, and those are the best white girls. Like, I'm used to like light skinned girls. I've never liked dark skinned girls. I've liked more light skinned towards white. I don't know. Maybe because of my skin tone. I don't know. But, whatever, man. Uh, yeah. Came back, like me. Who cares? Smooth guy, Mike. So, uh, if you like that insipid commentary throw me a like or a comment most likely a comment saying how bad the commentary suck but I respond in an orderly fashion way like as good would say so uh, enjoy the intro and see you in the next video hit as he throw Butler picks it off the tackle was made by Anquan Bolden and you could really see him baiting the quarterback on that go, one. He go. wanted him to believe the receiver was open, but he had it all the way. Let's go! Let's get with it! Passes to his left. He goes up high for the catch. He thinks he hauled it in, but we'll see what the officials say. And it is a good catch. Really nice effort along that sideline. What a great example of body control and little finesse. Throws it out. He leaves. It's caught. I think Wes Welker is one of the great stories in the NFL. Here's a guy that was undrafted, cut by the Chargers after a game, traded by the Dolphins, and since then has put in the two biggest receiving seasons in Patriots history. To the end zone. McFadden bats it down. Joey Galloway was his intended target. At the end of the first...